Welcome to Ascent. My name is Martin Forder and today I'd like to introduce you to a parallel evaporator that's quite unique. This is the Dreisen Spiral Evaporator. What's that all about then? Let's have a look. Well, many of you will be familiar with our Dreisen multi range of heating blocks for the round bottom flasks and tubes and vials. Here we have some of the multi inserts in place. Great for doing multiple parallel experiments, heating and stirring on a standard hot plate stirrer. But what about the evaporation step? Multiple samples in small tubes and vials. A rotary evaporator is not the ideal thing to do the evaporation. So we worked with our partners, Biochromato, who you may have seen the Smart Evaporator on our videos before. Uh, up here will be a link if you want to look at that further. But we worked with them very closely and have licensed their spiral plug technology to make a parallel evaporator specifically for dry sin heating blocks. Let me show you how it works. So quite a common format is one of these four position blocks. So spiral plug technology I'll tell you about at the end of this video. Uh, you may have already seen it before on the Smart Evaporator from Biochromato. The design of the Dreisen Spiral Plug Evaporator is very simple. It simply sits on top of the Dreisen four position block. Just put it into the centre of your multi-plate. And then if you want, we have this um, simple stability clamp. You don't necessarily need that, but it does make sure you don't knock it over. And then, as you can see, it's very easy to lower the spiral plugs into the tops of the tubes. The evaporator is completely sealed in the borosilicate glass tube. And that means that you can then take the exhaust and trap that in a cold trap or even recirculate it through the vacuum pump if you've got a chemistry suitable vacuum pump like Vacubrand back in and through to continue keeping an inert atmosphere for instance. Let's get it in operation. Uh, we have an optional pressure control valve, glass one, which is uh, very nice and easy to keep clean. Now I'll apply a vacuum and then we'll do some close-up videos. So here you can see four tubes being evaporated at the same time. Great thing about the spiral evaporator, there's no moving parts. Let me show you how easy it is to take apart the unit and change the plug fittings as required. So I'm going to undo these two thumb screws, put those down safely. And then the unit can easily be lifted out. Now I have access, as you can see, to the head assembly. This, if you were to have any potential contamination from overfilling tubes, this can be unscrewed and easily be cleaned out. So that's not an issue for contamination. Each of the uh, plugs is held in by one of these 10 millimeter push fit fittings that seals and it's just a simple collar to release. I'll show you how that works close up with my iPhone. So here we are, here we have the four plugs of one size in place. We have smaller plug options here, as you can see. And also we have blanking plugs, just in case you only have three tubes, two tubes, or even one tube. So this is how easy it is to change a plug with one hand. You push the blue collar and pull at the same time. And that's how simple they are to remove. And to put the other ones in, you just simply push and they're held in. I'll take uh, this one out. 
and we'll pop a blanking plug in there. There we are. Very, very simple to do, very easy to use. No moving parts, nothing really to go wrong. So it's pretty simple stuff. Robust, reliable, and it works. So as promised at the start of the video, here's how the spiral plugs work. I'm gonna show you a close up using my iPhone. So the spiral plug, as you can see, it has a groove cut into the outside. And a spring and it pretty much fits quite a wide selection of tubes there are different sizes of spiral plug depending on the tube diameter so normally a set of four of those will cover the range of tubes you may have so what happens is through the center we pull a vacuum the vacuum pulls in air or gas whatever your uh, atmosphere is through that spiral that gas and there spins around quickly pulling a vortex of liquid up against the sides of the tube let me show you on my iPad so on this page of the Dryson spiral evaporator you can see down here an illustration of how the plugs work so gas coming in through the top, spins around, pulls the vortex of liquid up at the bottom, giving a thin film that evaporates very effectively. Now the benefit of that is multifold. So as you can see here, there's some interesting solvents at the bottom of the list. We have DMF, DMSO and NMP all being effectively evaporated in the Dryson spiral evaporator. Because of the way this technology works, you will not experience any bumping, you won't experience foaming, and because you can use lower temperatures, sometimes associated with the high boiling point solvents, you're more likely that your samples will remain stable and free from any degradation from the heat. Hopefully you found this an interesting video on evaporation in parallel using the Dryson Spiral Evaporator. Please get in contact through inquiries at ascent.com and thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.